Hey everybody, so we got the motor taken apart. All the parts and pieces are out. The only thing I haven't done yet, because it's not mine, if it was my engine, I would do it. But I got one stud here that is stripped. Somebody was in here. I know someone was in here because this is stripped out and the other side, a quarter inch uh, hex gets that out, no problem. But the, my quarter inch hex was, wasn't was working in there. Um, it was too small. And the other thing is there's no gasket here. So that's the other thing. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing, since there's threads, I mean, you make those threads out, but there's threads in here. I might just grind that off and put a pipe in there and then made it up to this exhaust pipe and this old beat up gravely muffler. But uh, every, other than that, everything else has been dismantled. Well, what didn't dismantle itself? Like this balance gear that just completely self-destructed. Got those out. Um, I'm gonna get a new carb for this. Cause in the kit, you can buy a kit for mysafetractors.com. You can get a new carb, you can get new CDI, or isn't that what this is? Always fail on the names. Gonna need a new crank. That's gonna be the problem. Hold these off with my puller, and you can get new new eight ball. These are eight balls. Two, four, six, eight ball bearings. That's what you want. Uh, here's the piston, standard size piston, and I'll take you through some of the measurements in a second. But when that uh, when that balance gear blew up and I still think that there must have been a warning I don't know yet if I'm gonna put balance gears back in I'm not sure this one was okay this one made it up this one mates up to the the governor that governor gears in big trouble it's all ground down and I don't know why that's not focusing anyway let me just pick this oh, I don't need to pick that up I need to replace that yeah, you probably saw this cam. Here's the cam pin. Here's the cam. Whew! Look at this. There's a little washer. This whole thing just completely blew up. That's what it did. This is from the old balance gear on the other side. You can see that crack. I don't like cameras that take a while to focus so here's you can see that's split this is the part of the camshaft and that's completely split yeah it really did a number this is the uh, automatic um, ex exhaust uh, what do you call that this is the automatic uh, compression release yeah this is just wrecked Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. This little cap that's got to go back in. Here's piston. Piston is okay. However, yeah, you can see stuff was really flying around in that engine for. Here's the. Uh, a good look at that hole, oil hole, for the crank bearing, in the slinger oil slinger completely I mean this thing is just really whoo a lot of stuff flying around in there yep and underneath make out some of those dings and stuff so we're gonna replace all of this here um, I do have to still measure the valves uh, the valve springs let's see if I get my hand in there maybe it'll be better but these need to not just be lapped, but that edge is not sealing too well, so that this face needs to be cleaned on the, needs to be cleaned up. Here's our numbers. Numbers didn't come out too bad, actually. So looking at the measurements that I took for max wear being 3.378 inches, uh, this, three measurements I took on the x-axis were 
all within spec of 3.375 and then the Y they were all again 3.75 and my t uh, max taper was good as well as my out of round was good my intake um, was supposed to be 0 0.312 I got 0 0.325 and then my exhaust is 0.313 and I got 0.3126. The other thing I want to show you, last thing I want to show you, is this engine has not ever been redone. This is a standard piston, but I don't know if you can make it out. It's going to be difficult, difficult to. There you go. You can see there's still cross hatches. If this thing broke in well enough, those cross hatches would have been um, rubbed out. So what I think they might have honed it, but then possibly what they did is just use the old rings and probably didn't use new rings in it. But I know somebody was in this engine, I just don't know what they did. What we decided to do, this is my, again, the Gravely, this is my son's friends. You know, he's only like 19 years old, so what we're, we're going to do is I'm going to do the work for free. He's going to buy the parts, and then we'll put it back together. Uh, whether he's here or not, as long as the parts are here, I'll do it. Since it's a beautiful tractor and looks really good, um, I think it makes sense to do that. The block is in great shape, and everything is standard. Going to need a new crank because the teeth on the crank sheared off. But as long as we can find a new crank, used crank, that is in good, decent shape, then, um, you know, the, everything else, and even if that's 10 under, we could we can use something like that. 10 under, get 10 under connecting rods, and we can still use the standard size piston. Um, find a new cam, which I've located a couple. We can put this thing back together and this thing will last another 30 years or so um, and and as I said before I think because this is a rear engine rider and singles are gonna they're thumpers anyway they're going to shake a little bit I'm actually thinking of not putting these balance gears back in one I have to find them I've found a couple they're, they're not cheap and they will grenade uh, again, it's gonna happen. That seems to be the common thing. So it may make sense just to take the chance and not uh, put those back in and then just see if we can deal with... Um, I, under, I understand on the Magnum 12, like some some people have said it really they didn't really notice much in the way of vibration. So this engine's gonna spin 3600 RPM and under. Uh, should be okay. To do that so this is just an update of what all the parts look like um, and all the pieces do have to measure these valves just to make sure that they're still within spec and then uh, tappets tappets are in good shape I thought they were gonna be in trouble but they look good pieces of metal all over the place but our keepers we got those I think we're in good shape so once we get the parts in come along for that ride and I'll show everybody how we put it all in and put it together and get this thing rolling again.